Oh yeah. The pay is not that good, and I just wrote down every drug that I could remember. As much information in my brain as I can possibly handle. Feeling like adding a little something to it. I'm a sucker for a good breakfast sandwich. This vlog is going to be a nursing week in my life. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a while. I don't know, I just feel like when I started nursing school, it was like way more exciting to be vlogging about what I'm doing. But now it's like, I feel like I do the same thing. Like I'm just studying and I don't know. Do you guys want to see like what I do to study? I feel like I always post about it on like TikTok. But I actually have an exam tomorrow. It's on a whole bunch of stuff, but mainly chemotherapy. It's a lot of freaking drugs to memorize. And so right now I'm literally just writing down everything Thing that I can remember. Wait, let me show you full screen. I kind of just started a new note on my iPad and I just wrote down every drug that I could remember and like kind of their side effects or like what I know about them. And then I'm going back through my notes and writing in red the stuff that I missed or like what else I think is important. And so then I'm gonna mainly like focus on studying the ones that are in red. I feel like I have a good grasp on the information. It's just like some of the drugs I don't know certain things about. So I think I'm gonna focus on that today. Kind of just like review the main topics for everything, maybe do some practice questions. I'm just so happy it's sunny right now. Ah. Got my morning beverages. You know the drill. I need another coaster because I only have two, but one's downstairs. Yeah, I literally have coffee, water, and smoothie. The smoothie's tiny though. It didn't make very much. Very good though. I swear I literally make the best smoothies ever. Okay, I'm going to study with my friend over Skype. We're just gonna ask each other a bunch of questions. This is what we like to do a couple days leading up to the exam. We kind of just will ask each other random questions based on our notes. I want to show you guys our notes because we literally have the same handwriting. So we make them together. It's just great, honestly. It gives me less work. We get it done way faster. Here's our urinary notes so she did the first half and then i did the second half as you can see they literally look like exactly the same but i love them they're just so easy to read and we like to do a bunch of pictures you can zoom in and out it's so fun we're taking a little study break and i just made this tuna salad sandwich me trying to pick it up it literally looks fire i'm obsessed with tuna i know canned tuna is like controversial 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 i know tuna can is like controversial, controversial. but i personally love tuna and it's honestly so easy one of the easiest lunches one of my favorite things to eat is a toasted sandwich like toast both cheese the bread it's so good and i got these siete chips at target yesterday and they're like habanero sea salt and vinegar and they're really good i made a tuna sandwich and these chips oh my god are those the siete ones too what are the drugs used for bladder cancer I literally can't remember. Tycurb and Tizoluzumab. I don't know. I don't all think right. I'll ever remember okay. that, but. What kidney stone is associated with a UTI? Struvite. What drug do we use for uric acid stones? Oh, Thank you, baby. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I studied for like literally probably five hours with my friend, but honestly, we study half the time and talk half the time. I feel like today we did good though. We mostly studied. And I started feeling like I literally had a cloud over my head and I could not retain any more information. So I was like, okay, we should probably be done. And now I'm actually going out to eat with Alex and his grandparents. I'm getting ready. I'm trying to learn how to do the fluffy brow, but my dilemma with this is I don't know how to do the fluffy brow and fill them in because when I use the gel, I'm using the elf gel. It was like five dollars on Amazon and I find that once I put it on It's really hard to fill in my brows like it's like oil and water mixing together the brow gel and the brow pencil Does that make any sense? I don't know, but it's hard to put the brow pencil over the gel See like my eyebrows are very sparse at the end So I feel like I need to fill them in at least a little bit but it's hard when they're gelled. See, I feel like it didn't even work to fill them in, but I don't know. I really like the look of the fluffy brow. So let me know if you guys have any tips. I'm deciding if I want to put my hair in a bun or curl it. I feel like it's a bun day. I don't know. I'm kind of lazy. I don't really want to curl it. Okay, I decided to curl my hair. I have not brushed it out yet, so don't judge it. But I need to pick out an outfit. I'm not sure what I'm feeling. I'm kind of leaning towards something pink. I wonder if it's warm enough for this. Probably not. Um, um, I don't know. You guys tell me. What should I wear? Maybe a sweater? Why are you always so dang cute? Look at that face. Look at that face. I'm literally starving right now. Literally going to die. I need a snack. Like, ASAP. Our fridge is a mess. 
Look at this. So many leftovers. I'm going to have one of these perfect bars that I made. They're literally so good, you guys. one last time trying to shove as much information in my brain as I can possibly handle and then I'm gonna go in and take my exam wish me luck I got this I'm smart I can answer these questions I can do this no biggie okay just finished my exam it went actually pretty well I kind of thought I did a little bit better like I was hoping for an A but I still did really well now I'm gonna reward myself with Starbucks because Alex got me some Starbucks gift cards yesterday. So let's go do that. And then I'm going to also go to Trader Joe's because I need to get some groceries for the week. I just got done at Trader Joe's and I was hungry shopping, which is, you know, not the best, but I got these cheese snack bites. I thought they looked good, never had them before. So I'm gonna try them. I also got a Monstera and I'm really freaking excited. I've literally looked up this plant like the last four times I've been to Trader Joe's and today I was like, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself. So I bought a plant. Do I need more plants? Not really, but actually I do need one for my study area upstairs. I really wanted to have a plant like in the corner. So I think I'm gonna put that there, but I need to get a pot for it. Anyways, I'm gonna try these. interesting this reminds me of the cracked pepper sunflower seeds that i used to eat when i played softball they're pretty good very peppery though okay now i'm gonna go to starbucks because i didn't pass one on the way here so i know i'm gonna pass one on the way home hi there thank you for choosing starbucks so what can i do for you Hi, can I please get a grande cold brew with oat milk and a pump of vanilla? Why is my car so annoying? Like there's nothing in front of me. What the fuck? We got the goods. It's funny, I can usually tell if it's going to be a good one by the color. Because sometimes like they don't put enough milk or like they put too much milk, but this one actually looks perfect, so. Oh yeah. Delish. And I love doing the one pump of vanilla because it makes it like a tiny bit sweet, but like not too sweet. Because I don't like it too sweet, but I do like a little bit of sweetness. I'm hungry though. Okay, quick little grocery haul. I got some frozen fruit for smoothies, some turkey for sandwiches, some baby cucumbers. I love these chopsticks for a quick snack. I like the jalapeno flavor, and I figured my boyfriend would like these too because he's literally obsessed with jalapenos. Speaking of, I got him some jalapenos, some avocados. They're all rock hard, so I'm gonna have to leave these out for a while. I've been in my juice era, so I got some pineapple juice and some tangerine juice. I've never had this, but it looked really good. Some English muffins. I'm actually going to make breakfast sandwiches this week so i'm excited to do that got some eggs for those and then some almond butter peanut butter more juice cranberry juice i love to mix cranberry with usually orange but i wanted to try the tangerine today i got some grass-fed milk some bananas sweet potatoes i also got two things of maple syrup because we use maple syrup like literally every day for coffee and oats and just whatever as a sweetener and i couldn't decide so i got both and then i got this thai sweet ginger sauce i thought this would be really good with salmon bowls so i'm gonna try that some sweet mini peppers. I love these for a snack or with salmon bowls as well. And then some Brussels sprouts. And that is all.
don't know if that's gross, but I mean, I washed it. It tastes fine. No food waste here. I'm a little overwhelmed because it is 3 p.m. and I have a very extensive to-do list that I have not done anything on besides go grocery shopping. And I don't know why I plan all these things when I literally had an exam today. Who does this? Me. But I'm just gonna tackle one thing at a time. I've got plenty of caffeine in me. I'm just gonna do the most important things first. Number one being fix my taxes because they're due in like a week. Then I have to edit a YouTube video. I haven't even started. And then I have to edit a TikTok. And then I also have to do a bunch of lectures before tomorrow morning. Love that for me. Let's get going. I just downloaded this calendar from Canva. I'm gonna write down all the days that I have to study and like take notes on lectures and what days I have lectures. And I should have done this literally at the beginning of the semester. I have another calendar, but it has like like, let me show you guys. But this one also has like the days, like each individual day. So I like to use it for that, but it's really hard to get to the monthly overview. Like I have to scroll, so it's kind of annoying. So I think I'm gonna use this one just for my school stuff. And then the other one will be for like personal things. So yeah, I'm gonna start planning out when I have to study for my next exam and then for the final. That I would mention that this combo is fire. Oh my god, that bun looks like a mess. But I just put it in my Starbucks cup that I had this morning, and it's tangerine juice and cranberry. 90% tangerine juice, and then just like a splash of cranberry because the cranberry is like pretty sour, but it's so good. This would be very good with a little bit of alcohol too. So if you're, you know, feeling like adding a little something, something to it, delish. Good morning, you guys. I literally slept for like six hours, but for some reason I am very energized and awake and I haven't even had coffee. I don't know what is going on. I'm filming a TikTok this morning, so I think that might be why. I've been like dancing in the TikTok. It's not a dancing TikTok, it's a vlog, but I was like making it fun. Anyways, I just got ready for the day. Can we just take a moment and appreciate my skin? Like it is glowing today. Shout out Ilya Beauty. I literally love all of their products. I would love to work with them. Can I just manifest a collab with them? I've emailed them i've dm'd them but i will continue to buy all of their products because i literally love them especially the serum tint that i'm i'm wearing it right now i also wear their concealer i also wear their mascara i literally just love all their products i'm a stan i'm an Ilya beauty stan anyways i was very proud of myself for completing my whole to-do list last night and i'm going to say that is because i had a cold brew at like 2 p.m and that just kept me up honestly i didn't sleep very well i think i didn't sleep very well because i was scrolling on tiktok last night and every time i do that i I just don't get as good as sleep, which makes sense because I usually read. But I have class today at 10 a.m. It's actually gonna be over Zoom, so I'm pretty much chilling. I think it's like 8.30 right now, and I'm gonna make some breakfast sandwiches for the week, get them all prepped and stuff, so I'll show you guys how I make those. I actually got a recipe off of TikTok, so let's go do that. A little bib because knowing me I will spill on my white shirt because I spill on everything and for some reason I just love to wear white. Does anyone else like that? I don't know. Oh my god this will not stay. I also just paired it with some fruit that I had from my edible arrangement. I still have so much but the fruit is actually fire. I just put some Cholula on my sandwich and I was kind of lazy to melt the cheese but it's fine. I'm a sucker for a good breakfast sandwich. I haven't had English muffins in a long time, and they're really good. Hepatitis C is the most common blood-borne infection. Once an acute hepatitis infection becomes chronic, it can lead to cirrhosis and hepatocellular carcinoma. How is it transmitted? 
when they um, I just got done with class. We literally had class for two hours straight. I have to pee so bad. At least it's over though. It was supposed to be from 10 to one, but it's 11.50. So I guess it was not even two hours. Why am I complaining? Anyways, I love having class online because then I'm just chilling at home. I think I might take Chloe for a walk because I need to get outside and it's really sunny and nice. I actually run the social media for the NSNA for my school. So right now I'm kind of just working on uploading. We have like this thing called Student Spotlight and it's where we have the professors like recommend a student that they think is doing like a really good job during the semester. So we have the student like fill out a survey and then we write a little bit about them and post it on our Facebook page and Instagram. So I'm kind of just working on that right now. I have to do one per week. I don't want to show the name, but this is kind of the template that I use. Okay. It's been a few hours and I still have yet to take Chloe on a walk but I've been really busy I feel pretty stressed right now because I'm doing a brand deal with a brand that I've never worked with before and it's for the app lemon 8 I'm not sure if you guys have heard of it it's like really new I believe the creator of TikTok created lemon 8 I would say it's like a cross between Instagram and Pinterest I actually really like the app but I haven't really had a chance to post on it because I'm doing this brand deal this brand for lemon 8 so I've been working on those basically I have to create 10 posts for them and the three that I have submitted so far They all got rejected. They're very particular about the posts and stuff And so I almost withdrew from the contract because I was like this is literally so much work And it's not even that the pay is not that good to where I'm putting in all this effort But I told myself I'll just try to fix it and submit it again and see what they say and hopefully for the next post I know how to make them how they want so that way they get accepted the first time around. Does that make sense? So I've been working on that for a long time now. I definitely need to get outside. I've been like on my phone editing all day. I feel crappy when I haven't gotten outside all day, especially when it's so nice. You're so pretty. You're such a pretty dog. Focus, please. Just made a little afternoon beverage. Today I did tangerine juice, cranberry juice, and I also added a splash of sparkling water. Actually, it tastes really good. I like the little bit of like fizz. It makes it so fun. Tangerine juice is like my new favorite thing. It's so good. You guys have to try it. I feel like I've literally been sitting here all day in front of this desk. This has been the vibe. But I still have to sit here because I need to edit my YouTube video. Should I do that in the backyard? That might be kind of fun, actually. Get some sun. It looks a little ratchet down there. I like literally never go in our backyard, but I don't know. Maybe I will. That sounds kind of nice. Look at my neighbor's backyard. Hers is literally goals. So clean. Hers is a mess.